good morning to all welcome back to our course on the c programming language in this session i'm going to discuss about the concept of arrays in c that is the part 4 of arrays so what we are going to discuss under this part 4 is accessing of array elements we know that an array is a collection of elements of similar data type that occupy the contiguous memory locations and we know that the size of the array specifies the number of elements of an array and we know how to access the individual element using indices indexing concept in today's session we are going to discuss how we can take the values that means how we can input a value into an array element from the user initialization is a different concept which we have discussed in the earlier session but in today's session i am going to discuss about the inputting and outputting the values of the array onto the output screen and from the user so we'll be discussing about how we can input the values into array this is from user or from standard input device and then we'll discuss how we are going to output the array values on to the output screen on to the monitor the standard output device these are the two things uh, what i am going to discuss in today's class it's a very simple program or uh, is a very simple concept uh, which we can uh, easily understand nothing to worry about it let me explain this with a simple example we know that the standard input function that we are going to use in the c programming language is the scanf function similarly the standard output function that we use in the c programming language is the printf function so i'm going to use the scanf and printf function to access the values that means to input the values into the array from the user and to output the array values onto the monitor let me give a program on this i start my programming with the preprocessor directory hash include stdio.h this is my main function i start my main function here and i declare an integer array int a of let me take the size as 5 itself so this is a declaration statement where you will have the memory allocation at this point so i am drawing the memory allocation at this location here i'm drawing the memory locations a is having four uh, that is five locations and uh, the indexes are from 0 to 4 and initially some garbage value will be there this everything we know right now my intention is to take the values from the user from the standard input device that is the keyboard so first inputting the standard input to, uh, standard values or from the standard input device i can make use of the scanf function so let me prompt the user to enter the first element printf please enter first value this will be outputted on the screen so whatever value assume that user has entered a value of 10 here that value i have to read it using the scanf function so scanf and since this is an integer value and we are dealing with integer arrays 
you have to make use of the format specifier which is equal to percentile d and then you have to use the address of operator like this and this 10 has to be stored in some location that is you can store it in zero index or first index or second index or third index or fourth index anything is possible so let me store this value in the zeroth index that means i am taking it as the first value so i have to give the first value like this so whatever value you give in the standard by using the standard input device that is keyboard that is stored at the address of a of zero that is at this location so 10 will be stored here similarly i take another i prompt the user to enter another value please enter second value and let me read this value using the scanner function and the format specifier per for integer is percentile d and i am going to read it in the address of a of 1 so assume that 20 is given by the user so 20 is stored at the address of a of 1 that is here similarly i can uh, let me take another value printf i am prompting the user to enter the third value okay assume that user has entered the value of 30 and i read it using the scanf function scanf with the format specifier percentile d and address of a of 2 therefore 30 is stored at this location forget about these two values they are still the garbage values this is how i am going to read the values from the standard input device using the scanf function so these statements are the input statements now let us print these values so i know that when i want to print something onto the standard output device i have to use the standard output function that is printf the first value first value is percentile d since i am going to output the integer value i have to use the format space fair percentile d and what value i want to make use of it so there should be a placeholder and that is given as a of 0 so this percentile d corresponds to a of 0 that is 10 therefore i get the output as first value is 10 this is how i get similarly i can print the remaining two values that is printf second value is again i have to use the format specifier percentile d and a of one so here i will get it the value the output as second value is 20 this one and last statement let me write the last statement printf third value is percentile d a of 2 therefore i get the value as i get the output as third value is what is a of 2 it is nothing but 30 therefore 30 is printed let me end the main program so this is how we are going to input the values from the user and output the array values onto the monitor by using the printf and scanf function so here i am going to output it as i told that this entire session i will be dealing with how we are going to give inputs to the arrays and how we are taking the values from the arrays that is both of them inputting and outputting is commonly considered as accessing of array elements we know that accessing is done using indexing so this is what we have used i want to access the zeroth uh, first element so i have to make use of the array name followed by the index zero when i want to access the second element array name followed by index one third element array name followed by index two like that indexing concept along with the standard input and output function that is scanf and printf can be used to input or output the arrays 
this is the first method again we can make use of the second method let me explain this second method also it's very simple uh, concept what we have here is here i am in the above program the first program i am taking the values individually from the user and i am making use of individual scanner function for the user from the user uh, for, the, uh, for taking the inputs this program works well with uh, an array consisting of smaller size but assume that if there is an array that consists of some thousand elements you have to make use of thousand scanner functions and you have to make use of thousand printer functions which will be a very hectic task so for this purpose you are going to make use of the scanner function and the printer function for inputting and outputting there is no doubt about it but how can i simplify my task of in inputting and outputting the array elements for larger sized arrays this is what i am going to discuss so the scanf and printf remains the same and you are going to repeat these statements for 1000 times if you have an array of size 1000 or if you have an array of size 2000 you have to repeat the scanf and printf functions 2000 times so when i say about repetition you are going to make use of loops concepts so you can make use of loops to access the elements or to input or output the elements so what type of loops you can use we have three types that are supported in c that is for while and do while any of these looping constructs you can make use of for accessing the elements but but remember that the for loop plays a very important role and it is most efficient way of accessing the array elements right so i'll be using the for loop for inputting and outputting the elements let me write a small program here hash include my standard input output function stdio.h my main function starts here okay and i'm going to declare an integer array of size let me take 20 just for assumption this is a declaration statement therefore memory will be allocated for 20 integer elements in the contiguous way right and here i am prompting the user to enter 20 elements at a time so printf please enter 20 integer values okay this will be printed and now i have to make use of the scanner function okay i have used the scanner function and i know that the format specifier for reading the integer is percentile d and this i have to fill it up let me give a gap over there we'll fill it up right and i know that this scanner function has to be re repeated for 20 times so i make use of a for loop let me change the color i make use of a for loop so i take for i is equal to 0 therefore i am using a counter variable so let me go to the top and declare an integer variable i counter variable i and i am using the condition i less than how many times it has to be repeated it has to repeat for 20 times therefore it is i less than 20 i plus plus and this is my opening of for loop and this is my closing of for loop so within this for loop i am writing the statement as kind of percentile d and what i have to fill here i know that this is an address of operator this is common and what i should write here is the array name with the index so what index i should write here this is an index which is equivalent to counter value so it has to repeat from 0 1 2 3 so on up to 20 so it has to repeat for 20 times 
so that means it is reflecting the value of i therefore i have to give the array index as i which takes the value of i let me show how it is going to execute right so for the first time i is equal to 0 this here i am writing it i is equal to 0 0 less than 20 condition is true if it is true it has to execute the body of the for loop therefore scan of percentile d address of a of what is the value of i here it is 0 so address of a of 0 so So this is 0, 1, 2, 3 and so on up to it is 19. So this is address of a of 0. Assume that user has entered a value of 10 here. Okay, 10 will be stored. After this it will go and execute this increment part i plus plus. Therefore i becomes 1. Now again it will check the condition 1 less than 20. Condition true, therefore execute the body of the for loop. Scan of percentile d address of a of i. What is the value of i now? It is 1. Therefore, it is going to store the value that is given by the user in address of a of 1. Here it will be stored. Now go and execute the increment part i plus plus. Therefore, it becomes 2. 2 less than 20. Condition true, execute the scan of percentile d address of a of 2. 30 is stored. Exec increment i becomes 3 3 less than 20 therefore the next value that is going to be stored in a of 3 here like this so this will continue until you get the value of i is equal to 20 so you can enter the values up to 19 19 right so if i is equal to 19 I am discussing about this i is equal to 19 condition 19 less than 20 condition true therefore scan of percentile address of a of i now the value of a of i is 19 uh, sorry 9 i is 19 therefore you are going to store the value at this location after that it is going to increment and i becomes 20 so 20 less than 20 condition failed therefore it will come out of the for loop so this is how we are going to read the entire list of elements whatever may be the size of the array you can read every element starting from zeroth index to the end of the array simple one single statement with one for loop that's it the same method you are going to follow for the printing of the statements or for the printing of the elements so we'll make use of so you have to repeat these from zero to 20 so for i is equal to 0 i less than 20 i plus plus and i have to make use of the printf statement this time i'm going to print it right so i have to use the standard output function that is printf and the format specifier is percentile d and here we are not going to use the address of operator address of operator should be used only with the scanf function so here i am making use of a of again the same thing this this index number should be equal to i therefore i put it as a of i so this is a of i so the same thing uh, happens in this loop also so initially i value will be 0 0 less than 20 print of percentile day, a of 0 so a of 0 10 will be printed then i is incremented i becomes 1 i 1 less than 20 condition true execute this printf statement therefore a of 1 20 will be printed next increment i becomes 2 2 less than 20 condition true a of 2 will be printed therefore 30 will be printed increment i becomes 3 3 less than 20 condition true therefore it will print a of 3 40 like this this condition will break when the i value is equal to 20 and it will come out of the loop and it will execute the curly brace the end curly brace of the main function so it will come out of the main function this is how we can take the values and print the values of the array using the standard scan of and printf function with the for loops
let us have a quick recap of what we have discussed in uh, today's session in today's session uh, our topic of interest is the accessing of array elements so how we are going to access the array elements that we have discussed in the previous session but here we are going to concentrate we concentrated on how we have to input the values into the array from the standard input device and how we are going to output the array values onto the standard output device that is monitor there are two ways the first one is you can go with the scan of or the accessing or the inputting of array values individually by using individual scan of and individual print of functions there is a problem with this that you cannot make use of n number of scan ofs and n number of print ofs that happens when the size of the array is very large when the size of the array is very large you cannot make use of this method so you have to search for an alternative method that is the second method where you can make use of the loops concept as i told that you can make use of any looping construct that is for while do while anything goes well with this uh, inputting and outputting of array elements but most convenient method is uh, the for loop so i have given an example of how we can make use of the for loop to read the values using the scanf and how we can make use of the for loop to print the values of the array so this is all about the concept of inputting and outputting the array values using the standard input and output functions that's all for today's session thank you one and all for joining the session